My name is John Graham. I'm from County Tyrone near a town called Oma and I work on the technical field support team for the MSD animal health intelligence business. The purpose of today is to enable customers who own an all flex sorting gate to understand how the gate works and how to perform daily maintenance tasks to enable full service of your gate throughout its lifespan. This tutorial will also give those of you who don't have an all flex gate an opportunity to experience what it can do and how it may be used on farm to your advantage. The benefit for a customer to have an all flex sorting gate is that one man can effectively milk the cows and ensure that the correct animals are enabled for sorting. This will reduce the labour requirement on farm. None of our equipment is placed on farm without the provision of a pre-sale site survey. This involves a member of our team visiting the site and using their testing kit to ensure that the correct signal can be transmitted around your yard to cover as much of your grazing platform and housing area as we possibly can. With the advantages coming from Sensob in terms of health as well as reproduction, there is merit to cover in all areas of your yard, including dry cow housing, calving pens, as well as your milk and herd accommodation. The sorting gate itself is approximately six meters long and just over one meter wide. It is important to have room for the animal to access the gate and therefore space is required to enable animals to group before they will enter the gate. The framework of our gate has been redesigned to enable it to be stronger and more serviceable on farm. The electronics are a very important part in the function of your gate and they must be maintained and checked in order to make sure that they are positioned correctly and doing their job. The gate controls are, are held within this casing. There will be a key supplied to allow you in. To power on our manual DF1010 controller, we use the switch on the right hand side. During a switch off and on sequence, when the gate is powered on, approximately after two minutes, it will do a jig. This will allow you to realise when the gate is ready for operation. We have three pairs of photocells. Number one, number two, and number three. Receivers and emitters alongside our gate. These read the position of your cow and enable sorting. When looking at your photocells, you will notice that there are three emitting photocells which will be lit up red, and there are three receiving photocells which have no lights on their face. Underneath the receiving photocell, there will be a small green and orange LED. You will notice that when that beam is broken, that the orange LED will switch off and only the green will be visible. This is a test to ensure that your photocell is triggered and is in full operation. The ID units are triggered by the first photocell. You will notice that when switched on, they will flash every five to 10 seconds. When the beam of the first photocell is broken, that the LED in your ID units will accelerate in terms of flashing. This is the trigger point to enable the reading of your Allflex tag. The first photocell will trigger the ID units to identify her Allflex tag. Once she breaks the beam on the second photocell, the system will make the decision to either sort that cow or to let her pass through. Due to the length of your animal, she will always cover two photocells at a time, so it's important if you're trying to mimic this action manually that you do so whilst you walk through the gate. The position of the photocells is very important and this measurement is taken from the, the central point of our Texas gate. It's very important to ensure that these receiving and emitting photocells are in line with one another and have a clear view from side to side. If they perhaps get knocked out of position and they don't have a clear view of one another, this will dramatically affect your sorting rate. Also, the ID units, which are positioned above the animal, must be in the correct position to ensure the correct read rate of your tag and your cow passing through. If they are out of position, it can dramatically limit the read rate of your collar or tag 
and therefore an animal may pass through unsorted. When the animal passes the second photocell, the Texas gates will then close behind that animal to ensure that the animal behind does not follow through and they will only open once that animal passes through the third photocell pair and out of the separation gate. Once this happens, the gate will close, the Texas gates will open and it will reset to allow the next animal to pass through. It's very important to ensure that your photocell emitters and receivers are kept clean. We recommend to do this daily with a damp cloth rather than using a hose. It's important to manually set the speed of these gates to ensure the correct sorting. Each ram is equipped with the two adjustment points which can provide a cushioning effect upon opening and closing. These can be simply adjusted using a flathead screwdriver. Your sorting gate will perform much better when animals are allowed to pass through at their own speed and at a comfortable rate. Once they are forced, they may enter the gate too quickly and therefore your sorting rate will be reduced. This can be done by adjusting the exhaust valves on the solenoids which will be contained within the box alongside your gate with your manual controls. From here we can adjust the speed of the ram travel on each gate. We do this by adjusting the exhaust valves which are on the top of each solenoid. These may move over time and with the action of the gates and the airflow may need to be adjusted to ensure that sorting is continued. From here you can use the gate manually to test the speed and adjust accordingly. You will notice that there are LEDs which light up to indicate that it is either in manual, which will be orange, and orange when each gate is triggered, both separation gates and also the Texas gate, by flicking the manual switch. We can control the left hand gate, our right hand gate, and our Texas gate. You'll notice the LED trigger each time a gate is in use. There are two green LEDs to the right of your manual control switches. One of these will flash when an animal is ID'd or a tag is ID'd within the gate and if that animal is selected to sort, both will flash together. Once this action is complete, it's very important to reset your gate and turn off manual because this will then once again enable the automatic sorting from your sense hub system. The limit switches which are located on the underside of each gate will determine when the gates are open and closed. This will help fully populate your sorting report. It's important that the gate has the correct air pressure to function properly. This must be set between 6 to 8 bar and can be easily adjusted on your pressure regulator which will be either located beside your compressor or near to the gate. It is also important to make sure that all grease points are covered on your gate. We have a grease point at either side of our Texas gates located here and here. There are further two on the brackets that pivot the Texas gate and allow it to open. One here and one here. And also this bar whereby the gate travels on is very important to keep that well greased. These must be greased weekly to ensure that the gate has the correct lubrication to open and close smoothly. Your sorting gate is connected to your sense hub controller via your own network. This may be through its own separate cable and power supply directly to your router or via a cable that leads back to your sense hub controller. On the underside of your sense hub controller and gate controller, which is contained inside the box of controls, you should see at least two green LEDs. The central LED is indicative of power, and the left hand LED, which will blink, is indicative of the network connection. This ensures that you have communication between your sense hub controller and your sorting gate to allow the system to draft automatically. The drafting of cows and the selection of animals can be done from your web app, PC platform, or indeed from the mobile app. 
the app has been made to be very simple. We can set the gate up automatically to draft by animal, by report and by group. This can all be done easily and quickly from your phone app. And if an animal is seen uh, visually that is, is wished to be drafted, we can set up a quick sort function within that phone to pick out that animal. In the event of a power cut, the units will all be set up to switch back on themselves and you should need to do nothing. In the event that your internet may fail, the gate is still communicating with your SenseHub controller via your network, even without the provision of internet, and therefore your cows will still be drafted. In summary, it's important that you're working with the correct air pressure, that your photocells are clean and in line with one another, that your ID units above are also clean and are facing downward in order to accurately pick up the tag. The gate must be well greased in order to allow it to move freely and the gate also must remain on the automatic setting if you wish to sort directly from SenseHub. Thank you very much for listening everybody. I hope that this has given you some appreciation for how your Allflex gate will work. And if these steps are followed and the gate is maintained as instructed, this should give you lifelong accurate service. Thank you very much.